Hi, thanks everyone for being here today. I'm Erica. I'm with the Frack Tracker Alliance. Frack Tracker provides open data on the harms of oil and gas development. As Matt was saying, we became deeply involved with the Falcon Pipeline when a former employee, Kirk Jalbert, discovered the GIS data for the Falcon in 2016. Because of this data, we were able to provide we were able to find the direct path of the pipeline, including all of its stream and wetland crossings, and share that information with the public. This has been a crucial part of the permitting process for the pipeline and has resulted in us finding dozens of issues with the, and concerns with the proposal. We found that the falcon will pass through housing developments, wetlands with endangered species, streams that are home to fish and insects that are vulnerable to changes in water quality and groundwater, natural heritage areas um, whose purpose is to safeguard our natural and cultural resources, headwaters of a reservoir that provides drinking water to 30,000 people, and actively mined areas. Its impact is enormous, especially if you consider the fact that as a common carrier pipeline, it will attract more development to this area and is just the first building block in transforming our region into a petrochemical hub whose comprehensive impact really hasn't been reviewed. Having access to this data created an army of citizen scientists, as you can see here today, and people who aren't going to sit by while our natural resources and health are negotiated as negative externalities between the state and industry. We need to be active participants and have our voices heard before we decide to let the Falcon into 25 municipalities across three states especially considering the fact that Shell ranks second in the nation for the most incidents per mile of maintained pipeline compared with other carriers of highly volatile liquids. We have access to so much data today because of technology, yet somehow the industry is allowed to keep this from us until the last minute when it's often too late to make comments. If over 100,000 barrels of a highly volatile substance is being pumped below our feet every day in pipelines, that trespass sensitive ecosystems and our natural resources, we deserve to know. Going forward, the DEP must, we're asking for more transparency and for the DEP to provide public access to usable pipeline data and time to review it so co public comment periods can actually be valuable like they were in this case. Finally, we're asking the DEP to listen to our voices and to deny Shell's permits for the Falcon Pipeline. Thanks.